The two times elixir tournament is here and you need the best decks if you want to compete in this tournament. So I got three of the best decks that I think will dominate in this times two elixir tournament. In this video, we'll be playing one live game with each of these three decks, showcasing the deck, talking about how to play this deck and giving a couple of tips and tricks so you can play these decks like a pro. The first deck I have for you guys today is the Minor Lumberjack Balloon deck. And this deck has an average elixir cost of 4.1 elixir and it dominates in times two elixir. So that's why I thought, why not use it in the times two elixir tournament? You don't believe me? I'll show you right now. <laughs> Boom, into deck numero uno. And this Lava Hound deck is good. Really? It's very, very good in double elixir. So maybe I could just, this guy's level 12? And he's at 6'7? I'm like top 3,000 right now. Wow, shout out to shout out to this guy. All right, well, if he doesn't play anything, I'm just gonna wait till double elixir, so I'll see you there. Few moments later. Ah, psych! I'm back, baby! I didn't realize he was actually gonna play something. I'm I'm in. Say less. Okay, so he's level 12, so that makes me think he's probably playing clone. He's probably playing clone. I, I it's gotta be like a low skill deck, right? It it can't just be like it, there's no way it's some ridiculous crazy deck. So the cool thing with this Lava Hound deck, it's kind of a little bit of fireball bait. I know it sounds weird. I know what you're gonna be saying and I know it's gonna say, hey, Cash, what are you talking about? How is this deck fireball bait? Well, it is, it is. I know it sounds crazy, but it is. There's a lot of fireball bait and I don't think this guy is gonna have fireball. Fireball, fireball. What? I know it's gonna say, hey. But Royal Recruits, I, I don't know what this deck is. I'm very, very confused. I don't think he has a uh, fireball. Are you sure about that? But you have to fireball the lava pups. You have to fireball the barbs. You got to fireball the skeleton dragon. So there are a lot of things that you have to fireball if you are an opponent. So abusing when your opponent uses a fireball, make sure you would take advantage of that situation. And at the end of the day, this deck is very, very simple. It's probably the easiest deck I've ever used in Clash Royale. I used to use this Lava Hound deck. So I know, I think I made a couple of YouTube videos on this deck and it's pretty easy. A lot of times what you want to do with this deck is if I'm going in right now with this Lava Hound, this is actually gonna be kind of annoying. I didn't realize he has three air counters. So right now, it's it, all you have to do, and it sounds ridiculous, but all you have to do is attack. That's all you gotta do. Oh, he's got Ram Rider. Uh-oh, that's a problem. That is a problem. I don't think I'm gonna get much. I get maybe a little bit of splash there. Little bit, of, okay, so we get a little bit of death damage. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Not the end of the world. Ram Rider is on tower. So he has three answers to my air. Just kind of annoying. I don't like this. So let's split our barbs. He split his royal recruits. I'll split my barbs. So the whole plan with this deck is to go lava hound in one lane, lava hound balloon miner in one lane, and then kind of under defend if need be. The other, the other stuff. Uh, under defend if you have to. If you have to under defend. Uh, I don't know. If you have to under defend the, the. What is going on? I am getting slapped right now. I am getting absolutely slapped. I'm gonna lose. There's no way. I've never lost in my career, especially with this deck. Come on. This deck is super, super skill. All the skills. I can't go in with Balloon here, can I? Or could I go in with Balloon and then just go Miner and chip, chip, chip away, go with Arrows as well? Uh-oh, that's not gonna be enough. <gasps> Wait a sec. Oh my gosh, Balloon. I missed the Inferno Dragon. I'm gonna be down by like, I'm missing two HP. I'm missing two. I'm missing two. Oh no, not like this. No, I missed. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. Well, okay, if I hit that zap, I would have won. And you know what? I, I'm, I'm taking that. I'm taking that as a. There's nothing in here. I'm taking that as a dub. All right, let's get into the next deck. <laughs> The second deck I have for you guys today is Golem. You love it, you hate it, it doesn't matter. Everybody knows Golem dominates in times two elixir. So you might as well try it in this times two elixir tournament. This right now is my personal favorite Golem deck. It rocks the combination of the Lumberjack and the Night Witch and the underrated Bomber. If you don't believe this deck is good, well, I'm gonna show you right now. <laughs> Boom, into the second game and in this game, in this deck that I wanna showcase to you guys for this times two elixir tournament or two times elixir tournament, I can't remember which one it was. It is gonna be this deck and that deck that I'm saying right now that I'm taking way too long to say is Golem. <laughs> 
<laughs> We're going to be playing Golem today. Golem is one of the, uh, the, the decks that a lot of people hate in Clash Royale. I'm one of them, to be honest. Golem is a toxic, toxic deck. But if you love it, if you hate it, it don't matter. If you want to win in this tournament, this is a good deck to use. And a lot of times it sucks. I didn't have the best play for this deck, and that is going Golem first play. Uh, sadly. Oh, can I hit everything? I, I wonder if Musketeer, Musketeer does die. Perfect! Stonks! And that's something you gotta make sure you do with this deck, is if you have lightning value, make sure you take it, because it's always very, very good to do. This is gonna be really good. I think this is gonna be a matchup where, of all cards, the bomber is gonna show a lot of value. So I'm excited to showcase the bomber, because this is my favorite in rendition of this deck, using the bomber. I think it's one of the most underrated cards in Clash Royale, to be honest. And I wanna kinda show- oh, oh, it's dead. They ask you how you are, you- R.I.P. R.I.P. Bomber, no! <laughs> he had so much to live for RFP. I will I will showcase this bomber. I guarantee this bomber will get value. It has the baby dragon as the bomber, so utilizing the tornado to pull everything in. The splash units go to town. There's a lot of combinations with this deck that does really, really, really a lot of work right now, at least in this meta. And I think the the, the combination that we sadly cannot do right now, this trifecta, is the oh my gosh, why are you giving me so much value, big guy? Oh my gosh. Another just, just stonks, lightning. I, this is fine, this is fine. We got a lot of time, we know this deck does better in times two elixir, and that's where I'm gonna show the trifecta of the, the lumberjack, uh, is this coming over? Of the lumberjack, night witch, and the golem. It's a trifecta that is so, so annoying, and it's part of the reason why I'm using this deck is because I hate going up against it, so I thought, you know what? This is a good thing. It's good. If it's annoying, usually that means it's good in Clash Royale. So let's go Bomber again. I wonder what he's going to do. Maybe he's going to Fireball it. He probably will Fireball it, which is funny. I'm just going to go him at the back. Right now, he's forced to Fireball this Bomber. If not, then the Bomber gets so much value. Not only that, it's going to get one throw. What, you locked the Bomber? Uh, sir. Sir, do, do you not know? Have you not heard that that's not enough? That's not enough. You can't, you can't kill the, you can't kill the Bomber with just a log. Okay, bomber, bomber, be doing things. And how one go, one graveyard got so much value there. Oh, he finally plays a very, 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 very good play. Finally, does a really good play, and that play was, that play was to play the musketeer a little off, so he doesn't give me lightning value. Finally, um, we won. Why is, why did he play that so bad? Interesting. I am in a GC just because I didn't have this deck max, but. With this deck, Golem first play, go in, support it. Golem, Lumberjack, Night Witch, it's amazing. Get that lightning value in on, on defense. You gotta use Tornado, Bomber, whatever it is. This deck is good. Give it a try. Good luck in the Elixir tournament if you use this deck. And let's get into that third deck. <laughs> The third deck I would recommend to you guys is the clone. Yes, the cheeky clone. All you need with this deck is one push and you can win a game. This is probably the easiest deck I've ever played in Clash Royale. So if you're ready to get some easy wins and a lot of three crowns, well, welcome to the clone life. <laughs> Boom! Into the third and third deck. That was stupid. Into the third game and the third deck. And the third deck is, drum roll, it's, it, you can see it. It's clone. We're playing clone. And um, I think a lot of people know this deck. Clone is uh, the most skilled deck in Clash Royale. And it's not even close. Don't even at me on Twitter. This deck is uh, absolutely broken. And ooh, this is not the matchup we were looking for. Yikes, 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 yikes. He's got Electro Spirit, he's got Hunter, he's got two small spells. This is not what we were looking for. So, I don't know, maybe we can win with one push, hopefully. That's what you usually do with this deck anyway. So, Electro Spirit comes in, that's not gonna be enough. Log comes in, does it push back? Whoa, 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 and that's what I'm talking about. This is why this deck is so good. One push and you win. <laughs> Just like that, we won the game. So that's pretty much all you gotta do with this deck, is it really does well in Double Elixir. I'm not even in Double Elixir, but if you get one clone, if your opponent uses their spell, if they use a card that deals with your, all your clone units, use that clone, get the Skeleton Barrel, get the get the skeleton barrel, get that cannon cart, uh, and that's, get that giant skeleton, get whatever you need to get, and it is insanity. This thing is, uh, it does work. This deck does work, and right now I'm not gonna use my barbs. I know people are like, Cash, why aren't you using your barbs? The reason I'm not using my barbs is because I know he has fireball. I know he has fireball, so uh, let's wait. Let's make sure, there it is, fireball comes in, and now, if we want, we could use our barbs. Are we? No, we're not going to. Uh, all I'm gonna do right now is use the skeleton barrel and get a little bit of chip damage on the right. Just a little bit, unless, wait a second. No, if he goes in with Royal Giant right now, I can just go barbs. So that's fine. 
That's fine. Maybe I gotta start yeeting a couple of arrows. Now we got time. We got a minute and 15 seconds. Let's make sure we don't make a mistake here. I think I'm gonna maybe tank that hunter. I don't know. I don't know. What are you guys feeling? Eh. Probably should have tanked that hunter. Probably should have tanked that hunter. I wonder if this is gonna bite me in the booty. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll get one shot because of it. Let's see what his play is. I'm gonna go hunter. I'm gonna go giant skeleton. I don't know what else he's gonna... I don't know what he's gonna do. But whatever he's gonna do, I just gotta pretty much wait until he goes fireball so I can go in with my barbs. Because right now, if I did not... Ah, eh, you know what? This is fine. Wow, that's a little bit more damage on the right than I expected. Yikes! Um, Alright, well, let's see if we can take this tower, maybe. At least get something going. Even if we deal with his, his push so he doesn't get a huge counter push, I think that's an absolute success. Next time he goes with his... Just because his tower is so low and we're so close to winning this game, I think we're going to probably just go with a... Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll probably just go with the barbs. I think the barbs are... I, I think we've gotten to that point where barbs are, are a necessity. Or he doesn't even go in. Dead now, what are you doing? All right, let's go in barbs. I don't think he has enough time. And just like that, GG, well played. Clone doing clone thing. I don't have to defend this. GG, well played. Very, very simple deck. You play units, you clone them, you'll win the game. GG, well played. Try out one of these three decks. They're all really, really good. And if you try out this deck... I guarantee you're going to get a couple of three crowns, so enjoy. <laughs> Boom! And those are the three decks I recommend to you to use for this times two elixir. Two times elixir. What is it? Tournament. Good luck. I wish you the best. Hopefully you get your new PB. And if you enjoyed this video, I know you enjoy one of these two videos. This is my recent starter guide, and this is my recent video. So check out one of those videos. I'll see you in one of those two videos. Deuces.